Hey guys, this is Chris. In my last email I asked you to send me your music so I can use it to demonstrate my approach on writing drum tracks. A lot of people sent me their stuff and Ryan was one of them and he sent me this um, a melodic death metal kind of piece. Awesome. It's really hitting hard and there's a lot of cool stuff going on here as well. And we will actually use this riff uh, in this sec section that I've highlighted here already to demonstrate my approach on writing drum tracks. Listen to it real quick here. Okay, so we are going to work on this one. When I approach writing a drum track, whether it's for my own music or for someone else's, um, it's, it's oftentimes it's hard to, to know in which direction the drum track is going when you're just starting out. So what I do is I just um, use two elements of the drum kit and these are the kick or bass drum if you will and the snare. And what I do is I place them on every hit um, throughout the song or the section that I'm working on, on all the quarter beats and not just like this but I'll put the kick on beat 1 and 3 and the snare on beat 2 and on beat 4 of each measure. And then I'll copy that throughout the whole section. Oops. Okay, and now let's see how that sounds just for a starting point. Well, it's not really a great drum track yet, but at least it gives us an idea of, of where this whole thing could go. Let me just add some hi-hats here real quick. Okay, so this uh, gets the groove going here. That's, um, yeah, some, some good point to start out. And what I do to make the drum tracks sound really, really professional and like they were uh, exclusively written for, um, for this uh, section or riff here, is I try to replicate the rhythm that the guitar is playing in the background with the two elements, the kick and the snare. So uh, what we will try to do here now is do exactly that and therefore we have to listen to the whole thing back to back a few times to find out what the rhythm of the, of the guitar riff is. So let's try it again without the drums maybe. Okay, so we can see there's uh, some uh, 16th notes going on probably around here and a few more notes in between the snare and the kick over there and now we will just try to um, put them in here the way that they are played in the drum uh, in the guitar riff in the background okay there's certainly one over here and another one there Another one. Ah, and that's where it gets funny because there's 16 notes. Ah, there should be one more over here. So if you've uh, listened closely here, this section actually is repeated three times back out here, so I'll just copy that. All right, that's it. You see, it's not really magic, it's, it's pretty simple actually. So let me just um, sum up what I just did here real quick. First of all, I put in the kick and the snare in, in the first measure here, uh, the kick on beat 1 and 3 and the snare on beat 2 and 4. And then I started to replicate the rhythm of the guitar riff that's playing in the background with these two elements. Actually in this case I just used the kick drum because I think for this kind of music it makes a lot of sense, gives it 
really a whole lot of power and the double kick pat pattern over here also makes some sense for this kind of uh, riff that's playing in the background but you can also use the snare so for example I could have uh, maybe a snare beat over here I don't make probably doesn't make sense for this kind of riff but um, you know the the matching of the rhythm of the guitar and the drums can can also be done using the snare let's let's see how that sounds well why not it's probably not what we're looking for here but like I said this can work in other cases so don't be afraid to use the snare drum as well when you try to replicate the rhythm of the guitar or the vocals or a keyboard or whatever it's playing in the background of your song. So this is just a real quick starting point of how I approach writing drum tracks. Of course there's a lot of tuning to be done here if you want this to sound realistic. We can work with the velocities down here, we can work with the timing, we can add crashes, um, tom fills, a whole lot of them here and yeah basically really uh, some stuff that's still to be done but um, this video will have just had the purpose of showing you how I approach the writing process of a basic rhythm and that's what I did over here. Let's listen to this again. All right and actually I programmed drums for the whole piece that Ryan sent me. Um, here's the rest of them. Let me just copy that for you under the riff so you can listen to it. Meanwhile, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to stay up to date um, whenever new drum programming information comes in. Sign up to my email list to be notified whenever something new uh, arises, if you will. And most importantly, to stay up to date when my book uh, about drum programming is released in early 2014. You can also follow me on Facebook and on Twitter. Thanks for Ryan for sending in his song so I can show my drum writing approach using his music. And also thanks to Ansi who showed me how I can record a video like this. I'll have links to all these guys in the description and right on the screen for you guys. And now, well, once again, thanks for watching and check out the whole song with drums now. Bye.